G'day ladies and gentlemen, the Buttsman here, and I feel if you're going to get romantically involved with someone, you should tell them things that may impact them. Impact being the operative word, particularly if that impact is nine inches long. And particularly if that impact doesn't belong normally on a woman and you are a heterosexual man and you're not expecting that sort of impact. And by impact, I mean... IMPACT! With this particular definition of impact. I think we all know what we're talking about here. We're talking about sausages that have been hidden discreetly, okay? And I think it's important that people who you become romantically involved with should tell you if they have a hidden sausage. Well, not everyone thinks that way, particularly this person. She is transgender, by the way. She was a man and is now a woman. It really is a scary time to be out there in the dating world. I can only imagine how horrifying it must be because the surgery's getting good. Some ladies out there who were born men are now looking not too bad. And there's a lot of ugly chicks. So these, these, these trans chicks, they're coming up in the world. You don't know what you're gonna wake up next to if you've had a couple of beers. That's scary, mate. That's real fucking scary. You might pick up at a bar, go to bed, have a great night together, and then wake up in the morning to this. G'day, you big How'd you sleep? Wouldn't mind a hand job to get me day started. Terrifying stuff. So what's this all about? Too judgmental. Transgender woman details dating struggles. A trans woman accused of lying to men has explained why she doesn't reveal her past straight away, calling people too judgmental. This is Adia Daniel, 22 years old. She recently lost 50,000 followers, all because she came out as trans. Now, I've got a sneaking suspicion that I know actually what happened. It's not transphobia. It's just there are a lot of dudes out there that may have wrangled their own bit of meat whilst looking at Adia Daniel on Instagram because, let's face it, Adia dresses very, you know, sexually. And they may have thought that she was a hot sort. And uh, yeah, they wrangled their own man meat and spurted little man things. And uh, then they found out that she used to be a guy and now they're all fucking freaking out. <laughs> they're freaking the fuck out and they've unfollowed her. All right, they're all a little bit embarrassed and they've unfollowed her. And I understand where they're coming from. I am a heterosexual man. Uh, if I found out someone I found really attractive was actually uh, used, well, they used to be a man, used to have a penis, I would be, uh, it's like, you know, it's like eating a nice piece of fish and then finding in that fish that it's got a big old bone in it and it gets caught in your throat over and over again and keeps getting caught in your throat and then spurts little bits of fish gravy down your throat. That's exactly what it's like. Confronting stuff. To be fair, it does say this in the article about her. She's a single woman and revealed that she doesn't tell men she's transgender straight away as people are too judgmental. She likes to wait until she's sure she wants to take things further. Okay, so she's talking about before it becomes sexual, she tells them. That's nice. But also I think it's probably a bit late by then. I think you should tell them beforehand because if you're a dude and you think you're gonna take some bird out, on a day and you pay for a meal and then it turns out she's got a bigger cock than you, that's upsetting. If you see her hairy balls prior to the entrees, are you gonna stay for the mains? Probably, because we're all fat pigs, but you're gonna be upset about it. Adia Daniel always felt like there was something missing when she was growing up and at age 16, after stumbling across a YouTube video, she realized she was trans. Ah well, the power of social media. No. Nope. No, I don't agree with what I just said. She was always that way. That's all I'll say on it. Anyway, uh, she realized that she was in the wrong body and they put that in quotation marks, which is very transphobic. How dare you news.com. Adia told her mum and soon after began her journey to become a woman, even though she was already born a woman and was a woman, etc., etc., including embarking on hormone therapy before undergoing gender affirming surgery in 2021. Ah, the cock has been locked, ladies and gents. The cock is off. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, the more you look into Adia and what she has gone through, and I'll say she because look at her, okay? If you say he, it's fucking weird. What she's gone through is a lot. And she's very, very open about what she's gone through, just not to people she's dating, which is fucking weird. She's been very open about the surgery and the process she went through, particularly the dilating of her new hole. I was like, 
Are you fucking kidding me? There's two videos on it. Yes, two. Is part two necessary? And look at the so- I can't show you on YouTube, but this is a big dildo. If you're unaware of what dilating is, it's basically in the trans process, you put a big dick shaped thing in your hole to make sure it doesn't close up. You don't want it closing up. Very eye opening stuff or surgically opening hole stuff. Buy my book, Better Man, great book. Anyway, people tell me I'm lying to them or that I'm deceiving them, she said. No, not at all. Uh, there's so much judgment around the trans label and if a guy were to learn that I'm trans before, he would make up the whole idea of how I am and how I must act. Dude, you've got to tell people this shit. He thinks he's going to buy a brand new car and he, he is, but just in this car used to be a big cock. Sure, there's some things you don't tell your new partner straight away. You know, maybe something that happened in your past or your views on abortion. But if you used to have a cock, Fucking open up about it. It may be embarrassing and you may lose out on some romantic endeavors, but if you don't, you're a piece of shit. I'm very sorry, but you are. I want him to get to know me. So I just tell them when I'm interested and when I want to take things for, what about them? Is this, am I the only one that sees this as no one giving a shit about what happens to dudes in this situation? Like no, if this was happening to women, people would be very upset, all right? If people are being brought into relationships with men under false pretenses, people, the media, social media, everyone would be upset. But because it's happening to dudes and dudes may be tricked, I'm not saying that she would trick them into having sex with them, but if they were tricked into having sex with a trans person, every other dude in the world wouldn't sit back and go, how dare they? They would sit back and go, ha ha. <laughs> men are horrible people. We're all very aware of this. Online, guys often comment, oh, you're lying to men, but how can they say I'm lying if I present as a woman? They're basically saying, I'm a man. If it wasn't copyright free music, you could play the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme song. But it is, so you can't. So I'll just play this. Do, 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 you are a man. I'll call you a woman, but you are a biological man. It's accurate to say that you're a man, okay? It's not nice, but sometimes accuracy hurts. Adia also believes not much is known about trans people outside of the community, saying it's often thought that people wake up and decide their gender, when in fact, it's not a choice. For some people, definitely not a choice. But for more and more, social media, algorithms, that's all I'll say. Don't wanna get banned, that's all I'll say. Previously, Adia hit the headlines after revealing the complications she suffered after a <laughs> undergoing a Brazilian butt lift BBL surgery. Ooh. Not only you identify as a woman, but you also identify as a woman who goes to the gym. Very good. Adia claims that after coming out as trans, she lost 50,000 followers on social media. And while this hurt at first, she's now focusing on the future and happiness, which is great. And I do wish you all the very best. Not being an asshole, I do. But you lost the 50,000 because heaps of dudes thought you were a chick and you are a chick. I'll say you're a she, but you used to have a cock. All right. And that's, it's a bit rude. It's a bit rude to have your tits out and then garner all these followers and then all the dudes there going, yeah, look at her. Oh, she looks all right. And then you're there going, yeah, I do, don't I? Look at this dick, allegedly. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen and the non-binds out there, here is the lesson for today's video. Little white lies in relationships are okay. But big fat 12 inch cocks, they're not. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me next. Thanks. Toodaloo. Au revoir. Bye bye.